Welcome back, everyone. Well, I know the le I said the next video was going to be about JBF, but everything was kind of noisy and kind of uh, loud and everything. So I decided to show everybody how to make a really good recipe using an air fryer and some chicken thighs. So as you can see here, we have on a plate, we have uh, four chicken thighs and then we have our flour here. Now I put the flour in a cake pan just so it'd be a little easier to roll them around and get them coated. But I'll explain what's in this flour. We have two cups of flour here and I added to the flour, I added salt, paprika, powdered, gar or part of powdered mustard, thyme, black pepper, garlic powder, celery seed, ginger and then the added twist on my recipe i added a, a frozen pizza seasoning now you can find that at a retailer at a, at a spice place but i put that in the flour here and it it makes the big difference in it it gives that little bit of kick but not nothing that is like overpowering or anything like disgusting you know that that you wouldn't eat so let me get the camera set up and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so now we have our flour. Like I say, we have it in the pan here. And I'm gonna take my basket. Now this basket, my basket, I'll show you when I put them in here. The basket's already been pre-sprayed, so I'm not too worried about it. But I'm gonna take the chicken thighs and we're basically just gonna dredge them in the flour here. Just giving them a, you know, a nice even coating a flour on each one and then I'll set them in the basket right away and then I'll show everybody um, what they supposed to look like or how you put them in the basket when I get done here but I just go ahead and coat each piece in flour and like I say you want to make sure that you have the basket sprayed and also, when you put them in here, um, try to make sure that they're not like touching each other, because if they touch each other, it'll. I, I've noticed like in certain areas, like when they touch, they um they don't cook right or they get soggy. So you want to make sure you know to leave the room in there um, so they fry right. All right. So let me get the last one in here. All right, I'm gonna have to do this in two stages. So I'm gonna put this one back, but let me wash my hands and then I'll be right back to show everybody what they look like um, inside the pan here and how we set them up. All right, so as I said, uh, we got them in our air fryer basket. And as you can see, I've got them, they're not touching. It just looks like it's touching, but it's not. But we got all the pieces in. I had to do three, I couldn't fit the four in here. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna put this into our air fryer. Put this in here. And we're gonna cook this at 400 degrees for about a half hour. In, after a half hour, I'll show you what they look like when they're done. But if you're not too sure, like uh, when you're cooking chicken, you wanna make sure you get it to about 170 or so. You can always use, you know, an instant read thermometer like this one that I have and, you know, to check to make sure that the pieces are cooked all the way through. But let me get this started and then I'll show you what they look like when they're completely done. All right. And once you run them for the half hour and they come out, this is what they look like. Um, the skin is very nice and crunchy and uh, you can just, you can hear it as I'm peeling it apart. And the um, chicken uh, thigh inside, as you can see, this is still hot because I just took them out of the air fryer. But you can see the chicken thigh here is completely cooked, but it is very juicy um, and very tender. And like I say, if you're looking for a recipe that is, like I say, a very good recipe for chicken thighs, and it'll work for chicken breast, uh, chicken legs, wings, anything like that. You can use, you know, like I say, that recipe there. Basically, like I say, it's two cups of flour to all the ingredients. And 
you air fry them for a half hour at 400 degrees or you can pan fry it if you you know have a fryer or something like that or a pan you can also pan fry it you know until it reaches 170 and then take it out let it rest like i have it here you know i have i have it here on a, a piece of paper towel but like i say it is the best chicken that you can make in an air fryer like i say the skin is nice and crispy the the meat is moist it, it is a very good product so i hope you try this one and you know hope it becomes a favorite if you know if you like to air fry or you know even frying frying foods in general so uh, this is just going to be kind of a short one just to show everybody. But again, thanks for watching, everyone. And if you're new, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like these videos, please, you know, give them a thumbs up because it helps out the channel. And again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.